to get into lesson 30. Oh, we are just three lessons away uh, from lesson 33. After lesson 33, we are going to celebrate the end of module four with a celebration of learning, and it's going to be fabulous, and I'm so excited uh, for you guys to really show me all of the fabulous things uh, that you have learned along module four. It's been a big one. Before we get to our celebration of learning, before we get to lesson 33, we're going to focus on lesson 30. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Look at how excited lesson 30 is. And we're going to divide decimals by decimals. We're going to divide decimals by decimals, but we're not going to do that the traditional way, the boring way. We're going to do it the Eureka way. Um, so let's check this out. We're looking at three point first. This is what we're going to do. We're going to rewrite the expression as a fraction. You guys know that division, the division sign can be replaced by the fraction bar. So let's rewrite 3.5 divided by 5 tenths as a fraction. 3.5 over 5 tenths. You guys know that these are the same expressions. They're just written in two different ways. So what we're going to do now is we're going to shift these digits out of decimals and we're going to shift them into whole numbers. We're going to do that by multiplying both the numerator and denominator by a fancy version of one that's going to shift the decimals 3.5 and 0.5 into a whole number. We're going to multiply 3.5 by 10 over 10 a fancy version of one. And let's recall the place value chart that lives in your heart. Maybe I should have these laminated for you and I can give you, place each of you a place value chart as a graduation gift. So you can go into middle school with a place value chart. Okay, so let's think about our friend 3.5. When we multiply 3.5 by 10, we are going to head this way to the left. And each of these digits is going to shift to the left one. Uh, it's going to shift one place value to the left because our decimal stays there. Decimals do not move because a 10, 10 has just one zero. So 3.5 times 10 is 35. And 0.5 times 10 is uh, five is going to shift one place value to the left because we're multiplying it by 10. 0.5 multiplied by 10 is going to become just five. See how we shifted 3.5 and 0.5 from decimals into whole numbers by multiplying them by one? Not this version of one, but this version of one. We chose to multiply them each by 10 because I saw that we only have one place value to the right of the decimal. And I, I was able to see that each of these digits, I'm sorry, each of these numbers need to just shift one place value to the left. We know we can do that to a number by just multiplying it by 10. So now we're looking at 35 over five. Simplify 35 over five by just thinking, hmm, what is 35 divided by five? Well, it's seven. Pretty cool, huh? Let's do that one more time over here. I'm going to change my color and we are going to look at 3.5 divided by 5 hundredths. First thing is we're going to rewrite that expression as a fraction which we can very easily do. We're just going to have our numerator as 3.5 and 5 hundredths as our denominator. And now what we need to do is we need to multiply this fraction by some fancy version of one so that these decimals can shift out of decimal land in, into whole number land because dividing whole numbers um, is a little bit more straightforward and a little bit easier. So I'm going to, I see that mm, I need these digits. I have one, two uh, place values to the right of the decimal. So I need to multiply this 500 by 100 in order to shift these digits into whole number land. I know that because 100 has two zeros and if I multiply 500 by 100, I know that 
both of these numbers, <clears throat> both I should say both of these digits, are going to shift to the left of the decimal. Uh, so we have five hundredths. We multiply something, it's going to move to the left. We're multiplying it by 100. So each of these digits are going to shift one, two places to the left. Cool. So our 5 hundredths, when multiplied by 100, is going to be 5. If I'm going to multiply this fraction by a fancy version of 1, if there's 100 on the bottom, there has to be a 100 on the top if it's going to be equal to 1. So 3.5 times 100. I think you guys, everyone should be able to do this without the place value chart by now, but I just think it's really helpful to watch this happen. 3.5. I should probably draw an entire place value chart so we can actually witness this. 3.5 times 100, the digits are shifting to the left. Each digit is going to shift to the left one, two, place values because 100 has one, two zeros. So 3.5 times 100 ends up as 350. So we are looking at 350 over 5. I know 35 divided by 5 is 7, but this isn't a 35, this is a 350. 35 divided by 5 is 7, then 350 divided by 5 is 70. Let's just double check that to make sure we are on point. We can double check that by multiplying uh, 70 by 5. 7 times 5 is 35. We're going off. We'll move this down here. 7 times 5 is 35. But this isn't 7 times 5. This is 70 times 5. So I need to bring that zero down. Cool. Those numbers are the same. So this is what we're going to be, this is our final answer here, this is what we're going to be working on in class tomorrow. Uh, rewriting expressions as fractions, shifting the decimals out of decimal land and into whole number land so that we can pretty easily simplify those, okay? We're going to use our understanding of place values along the way um, as we multiply our decimals by versions of one that might look like 10 over 10, or um, 100 over 100. So it's going to be great. Uh, we will do this and we will celebrate science fair. It's going to be an awesome day. I'll see you guys then. Hi guys, today we're doing 3.5 divided by 0 0.05. So 3.5 divided by 0 0.05 and you know that did that the second number is the denominator so you should put it uh, numerator under denominator 3.5 divided by 0 0.05 because we always know that when we're doing division and fractions they all equal the same exact thing Correct. Bingo. <laughs> so now, if you want to make the numbers even, as you know, you still must start with the same thing. Otherwise, like, heck, of course, you'd be changing the equation. You don't want to do that. And remember, multiply by 100, hence you have hundreds on denominator. And such as in algebraic equations, always do the same thing on the numerator and denominator. So oh, also, we know that we have to do times... Um, 100 hundredths is because we want to try and make the denominator um, a whole number. Which equals, drum roll please, 70. Because we know that 35 divided by 5 equals 7, and we just need to add that extra zero. Okay. Is this over here? We're doing 0 0.42 divided by 0 0.07. So we gotta find out how, so we already know from Abdullah that division is always a fraction. Division and fractions are always the exact same thing. Yep. So now it is going to be 
we just made 0 0.42 divided by 0 0.07 into 0 0.42 over 0 0.07. And we want to make 0 0.07 a whole number. So how do we make 0 0.07 a whole number? Obviously, since it is in the hundreds, hun hundreds, hundreds? Yeah. I don't know how to say it right now. Okay, so <laughs> we would have to do times 100 over 100 because we already know that since 0 0.07 times 10 is only 0 0.7 if we want to move this over just one more time then we have to do times one extra zero so that would be times 100 which equals 7 so then If I want, if I know that I need to do times 100, then I'm about to do that real quick. So we have 0 0.42 times 100 over 0 0.07 times 100. That equals. Um, we already know that this is seven. So what's 0 0.42 times 100? We have 0 0.42. Then we have, and we have two zeros in a hundred. We have these two zeros over here. We have to move the de decimal over one, two times. So this would make this go away, blah, 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 blah. And that would make 42 with the decimal point. Obviously, zero right there. So then we know that 0 0.42 times a hundred equals 42 from what we just did. So now, since we already know that division always equals a fraction, we do 42 divided by 7. And for those of you who love doing 7s for some reason, you guys already know that that equals 6. I'm sure these guys will not always do 7s. Yep, but I love 7s. So. Okay. <laughs> so that equals 6, and that's our final answer for 0 0.42 divided by 0 0.07. Secret word is...